Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the other video. iOS 18.1 public beta 1 is out and I'm using this update for last couple of hours. And this update is really good. In this update video, I'm going to cover a lot of new features. I'm going to also give you a demo of call recording and much more is added in this video. So let's begin this video and the very first thing what I need to show you is the bill number. So going into the settings over here, then to the general about section 18.1 as you can see, the build number is 22B5045G. And this build includes an early preview of upcoming apps, feature technologies. The main features are definitely Apple intelligence and more. For now, the Apple intelligence is only available for the 15 Pro models and the newer iPhones. But in this video, I'm going to talk about all the new changes that are available with the iOS 18.1 public update and that are available for every other iPhone. So let's begin and start this video. So going into the control center, tap and hold this. This is the new connectivity um, UI that has been changed before this. It was a simple line just like this one, but now Apple changed it and this is how it looks like. It's not a big change, but it's a nice change and this is how it looks like now which is quite cool now moving to the next thing is all new call recording available in the ios 18.1 many people were asking me about the call recording and now it is available so going into the call section over here i'm gonna call myself to my other number so let me pick up the call once i will able to uh, once i pick up the call now i can start the recording on the top there is a recording button as you can see tap over here call recording use the phone app to record a call then transcribe the conversation in the notes app while your iphone will automatically play an audio notification before recording begins please respect the preferences of the person you are calling it is very important for the other person to know that if the call is getting recorded or not otherwise it will be very unethical this is why whenever you start the call recording it will notify the other person that this call is being recorded so tap on the continue section and now this call will be recorded um this call will be recorded and now the recording begins this is how the the ui of recording looks like i don't know if i go to okay it is it can go to notes but for now i will come back over here and see if it's still recording yes it is still recording as you can see it is a really cool and I really like that call recording is a here. If anyone want to try out this feature, they can do this. Maybe it is going to help many people out there. I'm not sure. But for me, it is not going to be a good, useful feature. But still, it is there. It is good to have call recording. Typing on this, ending this call. Now, going to the notes over here, there is a new splash screen, audio transcripts. Record and transcribe audio in your note. Match in your notes, highlighting collapse uh, collapsible sections which is nice it is going to be very useful for many people if i go and continue so this is the call as you can see there is a transcribe i was talking about it about the features that everything is recorded over here as you can see and you can also listen let's see how is the quality of this call recording obviously it is um echoing because this mic was also listening this mic was also listening but i can easily say that the uh, uh, quality is really really good i really like the quality um which is uh, really really good so yes finally call recording is here for the people who wants the call recording feature which is really good and now going to the next thing is regarding keyboard so if i go to the messages over here show you the keyboard go to the emoji button over here now as you can see stickers and emojis are all together they are in a one section there is a no separate section for stickers or emojis also now the emojis and stickers are in same size they are slight for emojis it's a bigger size than before if i show you the previous size over here by going to the messages maybe over here this is how they look like before as you can see there's a huge difference in the size and also there is just this was a sticker section this was an emoji section over here but now they are all in one section as you can see this is available with the ios 18.1 public beta one i don't think that if apple is going to keep this one but this is here 
also if you compare this search emoji bar over here and the search emoji bar over here on the 18.1 it is more curved as you can see and it mo makes more sense to me honestly it is not so curved but it looks decent but this one is more curved and i like this one um what do you think about this let me know in the comment section below now moving to the next thing is the new change in the calculator application so over here when we try to swipe it from here we get the history but now as you can see it is not working why but tapping on these three buttons it will show history but from the bottom now history is available over here the reason is quite simple by swiping this you can copy and you can also delete but in the old ui if you swipe you will get back to the main page but this is here i hope by swiping up it comes out something like that but yes it's a slight little change available with the ios 18.1 beta 1 public beta 1 so these are some of the changes available with the ios 18.1 public beta 1 rcs messages is available for some of the other um networks in china that is a cool update for now in my country rcs message is not available if i go to the settings and go to the messages over here i don't see any rcs update over here so i am still waiting on that i hope that comes out which is going to be a nice also there is one another change that which i just noticed that this is your voice uh, recording button over here you can send your voice note but just tap and hold over here i haven't noticed this one before if i compare the older one as you can see over here there is a dictation button and by tapping on this it will ask that if you want to enable dictation or not i don't want to enable dictation but over here with the 18.1 or maybe 18.0 now there is a voice recording button this is a much much better option so as just i said that i'm using ios 18.1 for a while um a performance is good battery life is good everything is working really really fine i don't have issue at all i want to show you the geek my score over here so going into the Geekman 6 application CPU history, this is the latest score 23, 22 on a multi on a single core, while 56, 55 on a multi core running 18.1 as you can see. Over here, if I compare the average iPhone 14 with the iOS 18.1 public beta one, the public beta one is giving me a better score over here. Also, if I compare the um over here with the multi core that scores are much better so yes performance is really good this is the ios 18.1 public beta one score this is the ios 18.0 score in a single core public beta one is giving a better scores as you can compare over here but in the multi-core there are difference of like just six points but i can conclude that this performance is going better than the ios 18.0 ios 18.1 public beta one is going so far really good i'm really enjoying the performance i don't have issues at all so that's it from this video i hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video until then take care peace out